The party may be over on an historic two-year bull market in stocks, with Wall Street analysts expecting returns of just 4.5% in 2022. But stocks aren't the only game in town, and you can still make money on your investments if you know where to look. In this video, I'll show you why every investor needs money in alternative investments and the trick to get around the government's rule keeping you out of this part of the market. I'll show you how to find the best alternative investments and then reveal the five investments you never knew existed. You know we can't get started though without that special shout out to all you out there in the Bowtie Nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation 2022 could be the most important year in a decade to put some of your money in alternative investments. After nearly a year with nothing but straight up stock prices, we had two corrections of more than 5% in the final three months of last year, and the forecasts for this year are not good. Volatility is returning to stocks, but adding alternative investments to your portfolio can actually help produce those higher returns while also lowering your overall risks. Now that's because alternative investments are affected by different characteristics. These are investments outside of normal stocks and bonds that, that don't rise or fall exactly when the market tumbles. Research by Baird Financial found that including alternative investments as 20% of your portfolio lowered the volatility and increased returns. This first chart here shows standard deviation of a portfolio over 5, 10, and then 20 years. Now, standard deviation is just a measure of risk in investments, how much a portfolio or, or an investment tends to rise or fall in any given year. The blue bars here show the standard stocks and bonds portfolio with just over half in stocks and the rest in a bond fund. But look at the brown bars. What happens when you invest about 20% of your money in alternative investments along with those stocks and bonds? In every period here, it lowered the risk in the portfolio. And again, that's because those prices for alternative assets don't rise and fall exactly with traditional stocks and bonds. In fact, some of the biggest hurdles to the market this year, like, like inflation, might actually help drive alternative assets and these investments higher. But then lowering your risk is just one side of this. The other is return, and this is where adding some alternative investments does something truly amazing. You see, usually we're talking about that risk-return trade-off when we're investing. If you want those higher returns, you have to accept more risk. But adding alternative investments to your portfolio, you can actually lower your risk and increase your return. We're back in that Baird research, and the blue bars are the return on the traditional portfolio of stocks and bonds. Look at what happens when we add those alternative investments, that brown bar. Over the five-year period, we lowered the portfolio risk and produced the same return, and in the other two periods, you would have actually saw that increase in returns even on the lower risk. I want to get to that list of best alternative investments, so I'm going to show you later how to find these and how to get around a government regulation that keeps you out. I'm partnering with Vinovest for today's video, a platform that opens up wine investing to everyone. Investing in wine is one of my favorite alternative investments, and we're going to get more into that later, but, but Vinovest makes it easy to invest without becoming a wine expert or spending tens of thousands of dollars for a wine cellar. You can invest as little as $1,000 and get started in minutes. Wine has outperformed the return on stocks with a 13.6% annualized return over the past 15 years. For beginners, you can get your investments picked for you through the platform's starter program with guaranteed authenticated wines in excellent condition. Higher level plans include lower fees, access to rare wines, and a portfolio review with an expert. Expert sommeliers choose the wines to highlight on the platform for their investment value, and because of the company's size, Vinovest is able to get access and discounts to fine wines that, that only the top 1% can get. All your wine is stored in completely insured wine cellars to keep it in perfect condition. You can sell your wine at any time or even have it sent out to you to enjoy. That's something none of these other alternative investments or stocks can do allow you to spend or drink your profits. Our first alternative investment is one of the newest, investing in carbon credits for return and a sustainable future. Now, carbon credits are a quota system set up in the European Union as well as California and the Northeast United States. Companies in these higher polluting industries like utilities and industrials are, are allowed a certain amount of pollution each year in the form of these credits. If they come in under that amount, they have those credits left over that they can then sell to companies that need more, that, that released more pollution than they were allowed. Now, over time, governments reduce that amount of credits they give out to companies, forcing them to become more efficient and pollute less. That increases the price of these credits as the companies get fewer. So these investments have an implicit support from the government because if prices for carbon credits went down, then, then polluting companies could just easily buy more rather than become more efficient. 
The government actually wants this investment to go up. So here, you don't have to be a hippie to love these investments because the return has been so great. There are two actively traded funds that invest in these credits. The CraneShares Global Carbon Strategy ETF, ticker KRBN, began trading in July of 2020 and is up 101% in the last year. The fund tracks the carbon price in the EU, California, and northeastern US, with about two-thirds of its assets invested in the EU market. The other one, the iPath Series B Carbon ETN, ticker GRN, launched in 2019 and was up 129% last year, with its assets invested mostly in the EU market for credits. One of the most interesting investments, in more ways than one, is wine investing, either directly or through platforms like VinoVest. The price of fine wines has beaten stocks with an annualized 13% over the last 20 years, and you get so much more than just that price return. I mean, you can enjoy a work of art, but not like this. From learning about different regions where the wine is grown, even down to the best years for each, this goes way beyond an investment return. And the problem is the downside to wine investing, similar to art, is that the cost can be higher than other types of investments. While an investment in a bottle of wine might cost all of 20 bucks, you'll need to store it with the right range of temperatures and the right level of humidity. You're also gonna to need to insure your wine investments against damage or theft. And it's really why that annual fee of two and a quarter percent to 2.85% on VinoVest doesn't seem as high if you think about it, especially when you consider it stores and insures your wine professionally. Beyond storage and insurance, you get expert pricing as well as other benefits like a portfolio review and access to rare wines. And we've still got three more alternative investments to highlight. Great ideas with solid double digit return potential, but, but the sad truth is the government isn't gonna make it easy to invest. In fact, a law dating all the way back to the Securities Act of 1933 says, says most people cannot invest in alternative investments. The SEC says that only what's called accredited investors, those with over a million dollars net worth, are allowed to invest in these kinds of alternative investments like private equity, hedge funds, and some of the investments we're talking about today. But there is a way around this law, a way Main Street investors can still get access to these same types of investments used by the wealthy. That's through platforms like VinoVest, SeedInvest, and other sites. Now, sites like these not only make it possible for everyone to invest in these alternative investments, but, but make it easy by lowering the minimum to invest and creating that one stop for information. Next here is another popular alternative investment and a low correlation with stocks, fine art. Now, I'm not talking about that new NFT market because really I have no idea how that works, but, but the traditional market for fine art has produced a 13% annual return since 1995 and about 7.5% annually over the last 35 years. Better though, if you look at the bottom chart here, is art has a negative correlation with stocks, which which means those prices tend to move in the opposite direction. And that means your investment in art is gonna smooth out those weak times in stocks, producing a positive return so, so your wealth doesn't crash when stocks tumble. Like all of these alternative investments, it pays to get to know the investment. For example, while contemporary art has produced a 7.5% annualized return since 1985, Work by the Impressionists only has produced a 5% return. But again, that's just one of the benefits of these types of alternative investments. You not only get a solid return, but, but you're pulled into a, a totally new world, learning about that asset class and able to enjoy something more than a stock certificate. Our fourth alternative investment, commodities investing, could see some strong returns as inflation heats up. Now, commodities can be a really broad topic, but here we're talking about the hard assets like metals, energy, and agricultural products traded on the futures market. Now, like all these alternative alternative investments in our list. Commodities are real assets. They have physical substance, uh, unlike the purely financial investments like stocks or bonds, which are only represented in accounting terms. So as real assets, these investments are gonna keep their value against inflation, even as the dollar loses its purchasing power. A bar of gold or a barrel of oil is still worth that same amount as inflation heats up, but, but since the value of the dollar sinks, the price of these commodities tends to rise. And we've seen that play out in the commodity ETFs like the Invesco DB Commodity Tracking Fund, ticker DBC. The fund holds futures contracts in 14 of the most heavily traded and important commodities, including gasoline, oil, gold, corn, and copper. As inflation has hit multi-decade highs, shares of the fund have jumped 40% over the past year, providing not only a hedge against those higher prices, but a solid return as well. One of my favorite investment ideas is coming up next, but I also wanted to show you what to look for in these alternative investments, the factors to help you decide which is right for your portfolio. These aren't like stocks, so you can't use that same analysis that we use here on the channel, like, like PE ratio or some of those other fundamentals. 
with alternatives, it's a whole different ballgame. And first is an easy one, looking for the return history on the asset, especially that longer term history. Now I've shown you that here in each of these five Alta investments, but there are many more that you'll come across. Use that average annual return and these factors to make sure that you're earning a return for your investment. Just as important though, you want to look for the investment's correlation with stocks. Now this is how closely the returns of each investment move together and it's the most important factor in whether that alternative investment is going to, it's going to smooth out those stock market crashes or it's going to amplify them. By investing in assets that aren't closely correlated with stocks, you do what we saw in those two earlier charts. You keep your return higher, but lower your risk. Next to watch for are the costs. What are the fees to buy or sell the investment? And are there annual management fees to boot? Now costs to invest in alternative investments are going to be higher than stocks just as a general rule, but, but that doesn't mean you have to pay too much. Compare those fees across platforms to, to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. And one of the most important factors for alternative investments, do you enjoy the investment? These are great opportunities to get something more out of your investments, more than just that financial gain. A Picasso or a bottle of fine wine gives you something you can never get by owning shares of stock and that has value as well. Now, I couldn't talk about alternative investments without touching on real estate, one of the oldest forms of investing. But it's tough talking about real estate as a single investment because there are just so many ways to profit on property. From renting a room on Airbnb to traditional rentals and commercial space, to investing in real estate investment trusts, there's just a way to invest for every investor. And just like it's impossible to talk about real estate as one single investment, there's no singular rate of return for the asset either. Data from the National Association of REITs shows annualized returns over nearly three decades to 2020, with returns ranging from 4% to as high as 15% a year on some property types. Real estate is also going to be a great hedge against inflation, and most studies have confirmed that negative correlation with stocks, giving you that smoothing effect for your portfolio. The beauty of these alternative investments, though, is that you don't have to invest in just one. Learning about each is going to open you up to a whole new world of investing and could be just as much fun as watching your portfolio grow. Check out VinoVest with the link below and start enjoying your profits on a whole new level. Click on the video to the right to see the cheapest stocks in every sector, 11 of the deepest value stocks in the market. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.